Hello fellow Hearts of the Blue and welcome to my channel and welcome to another basing video and in this one I'm going to do something really simple but extremely good looking that is a Martian landscape so before we get into all that cracking stuff please let me thank you my very good friend Alvaro from Silver School Painting Studio which helped me massively for this tutorial I was deeply inspired by his enforcers that you can see here Come on, look at them. They are absolutely stunning. We're not worthy! We're not worthy! We're not worthy! So please let me give a massive shout out to him. All the links to his painting studio and his social media links will be in the description below. Please check them out because it's really worth it. And now let's move on into what you all are here to see. Let's get cracking. As you can see, we're starting from a base coat of more fine brown all over our base. And I'm going to apply Martian Iron Crust all over this. This is a technical paint that has texture and will have a crackle, but you need to apply it really thickly. Don't use one of your nicer brushes for this. Use one of your old beta brushes. And just apply the texture over all the base. Our base coat of of Morphan Brown it's there, so when the base when so when the paint cracks, it will still show brown and not our primer or the colors that we applied around the feet and so on. I hope you can see how thick I applied the texture paint. This is the first time I'm I'm using it. The the pot is brand new, so let's see how much of a crack we get. The Martian iron crust is now dry, and I think I laid it a bit too thinly for what I wanted. We do have some cracks, but they are really small. So if you want big cracks, you will really need to cake this. And now I will do a very light overbrush using Luganath Orange. You don't want your brush too dry just enough so we can escape over the surface and catch all that nice texture to create some highlights the best thing about an, an overbrush is you don't need to do any pressure and you have a lot of control over the over where the paint goes and you don't have any risk of hitting the areas of the miniature you have already painted. With our overbrush now dry, I'm going to wash everything using Reglan Flesh Shade. Our wash of Reglan Flesh Shade is now completely dry and I'm going to, to jump into the fun part. This is the pigment because this kind of terrain is very dusty. So the best way to represent it is using pigments. In my case I'm using Vallejo Dark Red Ochre Pigment. And I'm going to use an old, really old beta brush for this. And the brushes you use for pigment shouldn't be in contact ever with water and it will be used only for pigment. So I dip my brush into the pigment and just apply them over the base. I will also catch his boots, the lower part of the boots with this.
have the look I want, I will tap it all the extra excess pigment back into the pot. And we're done. To fix the pigments in place, I'm going to use isopropanol alcohol and a pipette. I will just drop the ISO over the pigments. With the rim of the base painted, the basin for a Martian landscape is done. And what a fun thing to make this was. It looks amazing. Pigments are a great tool and I'm really glad that I gave them a try. So as always guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Do you want to decide what I paint in the channel or want direct feedback from me? Then consider Patreon. You have the link to my pension in the description below. Patreon helps me do all the cool projects that I want to make and helps me improve the quality of my videos. Don't be afraid. No content will ever be hidden behind a paywall, but it's a nice way to help me and you will get something back for your generosity. As I said guys, thank you very much for watching. And a special thank you to Kevin Sulas, Gil Lenat, Lenat Lindemann, Victor Domen, ILGN, Jonathan Ekelon, Kiaran Om Omurthail, Michael Boyer, and Oliver James Backwell for being the coolest persons in the planet. And you being like these fine folks, join my Patreon and take control.